Thank you for trying the Cadence theme, and we know you are going to love it. And to help you get set up quickly, we've put together this getting started tutorial. We love our page builders, and Cadence theme will work with the most popular page builders, including Elementor Page Builder, Beaver Builder, the Divi Builder, and of course, the default WordPress block builder, better known as Gutenberg. In fact, we make the most popular block builder plugin, Cadence Blocks, that brings all the page builder features to the WordPress block builder. Cadence theme also integrates beautifully with the most popular third party plugins such as the most popular e-commerce platform WooCommerce, the most trusted learning management system LearnDash, as well as Lifter LMS. The fastest way to build an entire website using the Cadence theme is when you install Cadence starter templates and don't worry it's completely free. On your website simply go to plugins, click on add new and then do a search for Cadence starter templates. Here it is. Click on install now and then click on activate. After it's installed, you can go to appearance and you'll see a new option that says starter templates. Choose the website template you want. I'll go with this yoga studio. Choose a color system that you would like applied across your entire website. But don't worry, you could change these colors later. Then click on import. And to confirm your selection, just click on start importing. When it's done importing, you can click right here to view your new website. That was easy and entirely designed website built in about 30 seconds or so. Most of the Cadence theme settings are going to be in the WordPress customizer and there's two ways to get to it. On any page of your website, you'll see customize inside of the admin bar here. Or if you're in the back end of your WordPress site, you can go to appearance and then choose customize. Let's go there now. First, let's choose some colors to use on our website. We'll go to general and then we'll choose colors right here. Here are the nine colors used on our site. So if you want to change any of these colors, you could simply click on one and then choose a different color. One of the best features of the Canes theme is that all of these colors are globally linked together. Let me show you what I mean. When I scroll down here, we can see this color is being used for these buttons. It's used, being used for this button right here and for these headings. And as I change this color, it changes in all of those locations just by changing it right here. So I'll choose this color right there. Next, let's choose some fonts that we'll use on our website. I'll click the back arrow and I'll click the back arrow again. And all of the fonts would be under general right here. And then we choose topography right here. From here, it's very simple to choose the font style and the color that will be used across our website. So here is the font color. And for any of these fonts, we can click into it and we get this pop up where we can choose the font that we want. We can then click here to choose the style. This would be the thickness or if it's italic. And then right here, we can choose the size that we want, including line height and letter spacing. And this is also where you would choose the size when it's on a tablet or when it's on a mobile device. Now let's look at one of our most popular features, the header and footer builder. To access the header builder, we'll click right here where it says header and you see the builder instantly appears. And for our header, we have a grid system of three rows, the top row, the main row, and the bottom row right here. And then we have columns, left column, center, and right. You can see how this header is being put together right here. We have our logo, we have our navigation menu, and we have this button right here. It's very simple, drag and drop to adjust the placement of any of these items. If I wanna move the navigation into the center right here, all I have to do is click, drag and drop. That's all there is to having a fully customized header system. If you want to add one of these header items, it's very simple as well. When I hover here, there's a plus and I can click on that and I can choose the search icon right there. And now I have a search inside of my header. And if I want this to the left of the button, I could just drag and drop there and it switches instantly. Now, each of these elements in the header are called header items. Each header item can be dragged and dropped anywhere you want. And each of them have their own settings. To get into the settings of a header item, 
you will see the settings wheel inside of the header item right here. So if I want to change something related to the button, I can click right here to get into the settings. And then on the left here are those settings. So for the button, I could change the text and where it goes and also some additional properties, including the style. Now, each of these header items will also have a design tab right here that you can click on to change some of the design settings related to that item. So if I wanted to change the font color here for the menu, I would go to the menus settings and then I would click on the design option. Also, each of these rows have their own settings right here. If you wanted to change the color of the background, let me show you. I'll click this plus and I'm going to choose right here where it says HTML. Then I'm going to click on the settings for the HTML and right here I'm going to add a message. As I entered my message here, you can see it appears here in the top row. Now I want to change the color of this text. I'm going to click on design and right here where it says font, I'm going to click here and I'm going to link it to this white color. Now it's disappeared, but don't worry. I'm going to go ahead and change the background of that top row. Here is the settings for the top row. So I'll click here and I want to go to the design settings right here and it says top row background. I'll click here and I'll choose that primary color we're using across our website. Just as easy as that, we've added a new row to the header and it looks beautiful. Let's take a look at some additional header features. I'm going to click the back arrow and then I'm going to click back into the general settings tab right here. Now you can see we also have a transparent header option as well as a sticky header option. Let's enable the transparent header right here. I'll choose transparent header. I'll toggle it on and for the transparent header you're going to want to adjust some of the design depending on what is underneath it and the colors of the image. So you would click on the design tab and here's where you might want to use a white font and maybe a different logo and you have all these options available here. However, for this design, I'm not going to go with a transparent header. I just wanted to show you that that was an option that's available to you. Now let's see how our header looks like on a mobile device. Device. I can simply click right here where it says tablet and mobile and we can see how it looks on a tablet. However, if I wanted to see on a mobile, I could go and click this icon right here and now we're in a mobile device. The header builder works much the same on mobile devices except there is an off canvas design option here and simply what the off canvas is is what happens when this icon right here is clicked. This is referred to as the off canvas menu and you can design that right here. So if I want to add header items here, I can click on the plus and I can add those items very easily. Also, if I wanted to change the styling or design of anything, I could click right here into the off canvas styling settings and here's how I can set up how it will behave. But here is the design settings for it as well. The same builder is available for the footer. I'll choose footer right here and there it is. I'll scroll all the way down and you can see this is our footer and here is the same grid system along with the same items for the footer. With the Cadence theme, you can style your pages and posts very easily. Inside of the customizer, you would go to the type of content you want to style. In this case, I'm on a blog post, so I'm going to choose blog post and then I'm going to choose the single post layout right here. And here's all of my options. So we can choose our post post title layout. I have it set to be in the content, but if I click right here, it will take that title and it will move it to the top. This is an option I have available to me. I can adjust the alignment. I can adjust all of the elements with the title, such as the author, the date, and the category. Each of these elements can be rearranged by simply dragging and dropping or they can be hidden. So if I don't want to show the category, I can click right here and it won't show on my blog posts and this will affect all of my blog posts. Now each of these elements here have their own individual options. So right here where it says meta, I can choose the drop down arrow and I can change the separator and lots of different properties as it relates to this 
item. Here you can choose the layout that you want, if you want to use a sidebar or not, padding and spacing, the featured image, all of those options are simply right here available to you. And just like with the header items, there's a design tab here where you can change certain design related properties. These affect all of your posts or pages, but there's also individual options. Let me show you those. Here I am on that same exact post and I can go right here to this icon and when I click on it, I have those same options right here and these are individual. It will only affect this page or post. So if I want to use a different layout for this page or post, I have these options here as well as spacing the featured image, including if I wanted to have a transparent header on this one individual piece of content. So this has just been a quick getting started video and there are many more wonderful features to help you build an amazing website for yourself. To help you have the best experience using the Cadence theme, we have put together a premium training course that we want to offer to you for free right now. Simply click on the button below for instant access. Thanks for watching.